Okay, now I'm at the point where I'm removing the hardware. And uh, some of it, I think, has probably been on here for 80 years. now I have removed the doors the drawers and the hardware from this piece and now I have to clean it um, and there's 80 years of wax buildup from furniture polish so it's going to take a bit I've got some Dawn um, to cut the grease now it's recommended that you probably only use water so that there's no chemical reaction with the chalk paint but I'm going to use the Dawn to cut the grease and then clear water to rinse it and then I'm going to dry it down with um, a rag. So, um, the hardware, uh, I cleaned each piece individually and it was difficult. It was, it was a lot of elbow grease and um, yeah, that's the toughest part so far. In fact, all of the prep work is pretty tough. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get to the painting but we can't get there yet because we have to clean first. So let's get going. procrastinating a little bit um, because I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to wreck it. Um, let's go ahead and mix the paint. Okay, now we're in the kitchen and we're going to mix the paint. Now I decided to go with BB Froche. Um, it's a chalk paint powder and you can mix it with any latex paint that you choose. Now, it turns out that I chose white. The reason that I chose to go with um, the powder is because if I do other paint projects, other chalk paint projects, I want to be able to use it um, with any color that I choose. So that's why I decided to go with this. Now, um, you can't um, order online and have it delivered to Canada, which is where I am. So I ordered this from a distributor here in Canada in Saskatchewan and that is Danny's Vintage um, Designs and I will put a link in the description below. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mix this with some water. The instructions were sent along with, with the powder and um, you mix the water in with this, make a paste like a glaze and then you add the paint to it. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is get two heaping tablespoons see I've already made a mess and put it into a jar I'm using my navy bean jar this is just like an old mason jar okay that's good now, I'm going to add one to one and a half tablespoons of water. Start with one, and then we'll move up. And one isn't even going to touch it. So, add another half, and then just start mixing. And the consistency that you want is like a glaze. So starting to mix, getting better. All right. There you go. That's good enough. Now, um, I'm going to stir it a little. Um, 
Um, I made a line here for eight ounces because you're supposed to mix eight ounces of paint with the glazy stuff that you make um, from BB Froche. And I'm gonna pour it into this container because I don't have a paper plate or a plastic plate to work with. And I don't wanna stick my brush right into the paint. Um, and I got this um, chalk paint brush chalk paint and wax application brush at Home Depot. So, um, you know, I think it was like 10 bucks or something. Quality, I, I, I couldn't tell you, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Enough talking, right? So you're supposed to apply it in like a crisscross pattern so that you get all of the areas covered and I'm going to go fairly thin on my first coat. So if you see me applying a big glob like that, I'm going to try and spread it out. because this is such a big brush and I don't want to get paint on the glass. Now, I am wanting to go in for lunch, so I'm going to use up the rest of this paint real quick and do my first layer on the china cabinet and then, uh, and then I can go in for lunch because I don't want us to have this sit out of the dry. Here we go! That's typical bottle. <laughs> Exhausted. It's probably like 3 in the afternoon and I haven't even got the first coat done yet. Did the windows and hubby came along and helped. And he put this, um, I don't know, window stuff on it to try and make things more efficient. But we'll see how that works out. Um, I got the cart set up. My tool chest. So I'm going to be painting that. But I'm a little concerned because the paint on this antique is looking very yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's taken on a real yellow tinge. And I know this is only the first coat, but it doesn't look like this on the table. Anyway, this is dry and it's feeling quite chalky. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'll get to a second coat today on that one, but we'll see. Anyway, back to work. have my ambition outstrip my ability. <laughs> uh, yesterday was a killer. So, um, last night my husband helped paint the cabinet, my art cabinet, and um, I managed to get the first coat on the antique and of course the table. So, today is coat two and we'll see how that goes. Here we go.
spray paint thing didn't work out. It turns out that you need to have some experience at spray painting, and we don't. So, yeah, just didn't work out. So I'm back to the brush. Day three. Let me show you where things are at this moment. The china cabinet has two coats of paint on it, chalk paint, and it's still showing a little yellow. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is. The tool chest is looking really good. My husband continued on with the spray, and the spray seemed to go on nicely, and then he used a roller. Um, just to smooth things out, but he wants to continue with that today. He's going to give it another go, and I'm going to let him do that. Um, so he can work on the tool chest when he gets home. He's not home right now. We just finished work for the day. So um, work's done, and now it's time to paint. Yay! Yeah, yay. I'm tired. Um, so I've decided to take things in a slightly different direction. And the reason that I did that is because this is just very time consuming and I need to move things along. So instead of adding, you know, two, maybe even three more coats of chalk paint to this and to the, the desk um, and then applying the wax and then polishing it, I have decided that I'm going to go with latex paints. And the chalk paint is going to act like a wonderfully expensive, time-consuming primer. Um, I'm also going to do the same thing on the on the, the desk because I want to have like a poly um, finish. I was going to put a poly um, polycrylic spray on that and on the front of the art cart because they're going to get a lot of wear and tear. I'm going to spill coffee. I eat lunch on that desk, um, and then of course my art. My art um, cart gets a lot of wear and tear. I'm going to spill paint on it. I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's going to get messy. So I wanted something really durable, more durable than wax. So that was my plan for the cart and the top of my desk. Um, but instead of going and doing all of that, I'm going to just throw a latex on with a satin finish and Bob's your uncle will be done, hopefully. Now, in terms of the chalk paint, I think chalk paint's wonderful. I, I do. I really like the way it goes on. I like that it has self-leveling in it. Um, at least BB Froche does. I don't know about the others because this is the first one I've ever used. Um, but I really like the chalk paint. I like how it feels. I like the coverage even. Even though this, this piece is quite yellow, I still like the coverage and I think it's a good quality product. Um, Having said that, I think because I chose white and going over very dark pieces, um, that's where my challenge came in. And also because I don't really have the patience and the time to have this dragged on. Obviously, I took on a big project, right? I didn't do just one small piece, um, which I recommend if this is your first time trying it. I went for all of it, right? I had to do the whole room. I would probably do the same thing over again. Anyway, as far as the chalk paint goes, I think it's great. Um, if I was using a darker color, definitely. And I do have a lot of leftover powder, so I will be using it again in the future. It's day four. Day three was uh, an exercise in frustration because it was windy outside and every time I laid a coat of paint down, um, the wind would blow dirt and debris and dust all over my freshly painted piece. So I took yesterday off to give myself a break and now I'm back on day four for coat four. Is it four? I think it's four, yeah, coat four. So, um, 
How are we progressing? Actually, I'm pretty happy with how things are looking. Um, I had to do a little bit of sanding last night just to take some of the um, some of the splatter off, some of the drips, and some of the debris that had blown in and gotten caught up in the paint. So um, that's done. Now I'm going to wipe everything down and go with coat four. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. over here to see if my husband could use the spray gun on it and um, it didn't work out because the spray gun had um, dried paint it was it was just getting gunky it was getting all gunked up from him having done the cabinet so the cabinet is complete the drawers aren't in yet but they're done as for this guy over here the china cabinet is coming along but there's still some yellow showing through. Um, the drawers are pretty white. And the front is pretty white. And then the door with the window in it, I think it's going to turn out okay. Provided that I can avoid drips. Drips are my nemesis right now. Anyway, I think we're almost done for the day. And, uh, yeah. It's been a pretty good day. Day four has been pretty good. All right. Okay, here we are, day five of the furniture um, painting. And I only have one more thing to do, and that is to sand the top of the desk and give it another little coat because um, it's kind of streaky. There's like roller marks and I don't like that, so I'm going to try and fix it. Start moving that furniture into the house and then I'm going to work on that table and that should be a wrap for the furniture. Once it's all assembled and back in the room, I will give you our final update. Okay, see you soon.